moving on to the finals. Next, we got Soundgarden. They're a big, they're a big contender. This one's called Outshine. Let's do it. I love this part.
I mean, as far as bar structure goes, it's the most complicated. I was trying to count it. It was like, well, I don't even know what's going on anymore. It was uh, complicated. Like, that would have been so hard to fucking play with a band. Like, that is top-notch bandmanship when you can play something with that many subtle changes. Um, I mean, no one's going to touch that. Chris Cornell is probably one of the best singers of all time, in my opinion. And no one touches him lyrically and vocally. No one touches him. Uh, I don't know who Muddy Honey is, but they got their fucking work cut out for him. I'm going to give them that a 9.5. 9.5 song of the night. Chelsea, what are you saying? 10. Yeah. Uh, That's not even my favorite from Chris Cornell, but you're... She says like nothing. 10. Yeah. (laughs) This is probably song of the night for me, but I'm going to give Muddy Honey. I haven't voted yet. I'm going to give Muddy Honey the chance. Yeah, for sure. Press, what are you saying? Yeah, that's a 9.5 for me all day also. Um, his voice is amazing. It's just like the it's like it's like the cherry on top, you know, after like the amazing instrumentals and this cool ass fucking chorus where like he had, I, I think yeah, that was another awesome. singer. Yeah, another it was a singer that was yeah. doing like the soft part and then he yeah. comes in after it and then the power chord. This is so cool, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, 9.5 all day. I love that. 9.5, but hear ye, hear ye. Let's give Mud Honey a chance. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see right now. This one is called Touch Me, I'm Sick. I mean, it sounds like fucking Rolling Stones nephews or something. Mm-hmm. It sound it's lineage from Rolling Stones. It's evolution from Rolling Stones. <clears throat> like their their songwriting was was Rolling Stonesy. His voice is Rolling Stonesy. The structure a little out a little change the riff on the outro was very Stones ish. I heard Rolling Stones the whole way. It was like hardcore. I love it, but it doesn't touch Soundgarden. Like mm-hmm. it's my first time. It's my first time here at Mudhoney, and I'll give it a solid nine. Like I really like the cut. It was really catchy mm-hmm. and really punk rock and really thrashy and mm-hmm. really rock and roll at the same time. Um, yeah, kind of remember like Iggy Pop or something. You know, like. Uh, that whole that whole line of music, yeah, I'm gonna give it a, a nine. A nine, but Soundgarden still takes it for me. What are you saying, uh, Chelsea? Um, I'm gonna give it an eight. That's very harsh, unique. <laughs> <laughs> you harsh, unique. He, he wasn't feeling. But I'm gonna give it an yeah. eight. Um, yeah, I I dug it. I jammed, but yeah, ouch! It went up against Soundgarden, which 
I should I thought was would be higher than three seed. But yeah, no upset here. Soundgarden all day. But strong eight. I enjoyed it. Strong eight. Press what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah, man. That kind of reminded me of like like some early punk. Um or yeah, yeah. like some Rolling Stones vibes in there too, you know. Um not what I expected at all. No, me neither. Almost like um like um it's like like the vines too. Okay. Or like uh, or like um, uh, the white stripes a little bit. White stripes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same kind of just like feel. Yeah, white to stripes it. Um, for sure, for sure. Jack White, hundred percent. I feel like that for me. That's an eight point five. Not touching Soundgarden, but I'm interested. I actually want to want to hear a little bit. Yeah, more I want to. I, I want to learn more about them too. I missed the boat on those guys. I like that. Next, uh, next match.